Hmm. Where the controversy comes in is let's say we have a perfectly healthy person like you, Brock. You don't have any blockages and your doctor says, well, you should take a statin. It's hard because if you don't have any blockages, you know, what's the statin going to do for you, right? Because so that's the dilemma. And uh, several years ago, the guidelines really clarified for this for it's very useful. It's, uh, something everybody should know. There's an easy heart scan called a coronary CT scan, a coronary um, calcium score. <clears throat> and with this, you go through a rapid CT. You don't even take off your clothes, no IV. And it can scan to see if cholesterol is building up in your arteries. They literally hand you the result <clears throat> when you get off the scanner. Mm. I wrote the guidelines for a major medical center here in Dallas uh, several years ago. And I said, listen, if you're between the ages of 45 and 75, you have at least one additional risk factor like diabetes or a family history or smoking, get a coronary artery calcium scan. Now, if the score is zero, then the guidelines say, listen, we can wait five years and reevaluate. There's, there's no urgency, there's, there's no buildup. But if the score is one, two, three, seven, 10, 25, and there's already starting to build up, we need to start the, the drugs, the statin, statin and azotamide. I think that has helped a lot. Clearly, anybody who has blockages in the neck or the heart, they've already had a stroke, a heart attack, for sure they need to be on these drugs. Now, people will say, wait a minute, statins aren't safe. Uh, I've heard bad things about statins. Well, statins in about 15% of people cause muscle aches. I just got to tell you, that's what it is. But 100% of people think they have muscle aches every day, whether they take a statin or not. So everybody has to be honest with themselves in terms of how much muscle aches and stiffness they have before they start making a big deal about statins. But I have patients every day in the office fight me. Say, Dr. McCullough, I don't want to take a statin. I don't want to take a statin. I said, well, you can skip taking a statin. You just can't complain when you need heart bypass surgery or angioplasty and stenting. You can't have your cake and eat it too.